My name is Dennis Coombs. I am the uh, Southeast uh, Regional Director for EG Innovations. Um, just to tell you a little bit about us, we are uh, an organization that provides performance monitoring for IT business services. And we'll get to show you a little bit about what I mean by IT business services as a whole. Um, so, the title is, My Application is Slow. How many of you actually either yourself or the clients that you work with, you hear that quite a bit, right? Applications are slow. Um, let's talk a little bit about that. So to better explain it, let's talk about how things were before on a client-server basis, right? So you have CPU, memory, disk, things of that nature. It was pretty simple, right? When, when things got a little slow, the best response was to add a little bit more memory, you know, bump up the CPU, and that was pretty much your way of handling a solution like that. But as we begin to grow more into the virtualization um, world, if you will, cloud, mobility, those things change quite a bit. In fact, some analysts have came up with some information on you, the average law, you know, cost of downtime and slow time, right? So they say $21,000 is the usual cost for downtime. Slow time, obviously, which I'm sure we can all agree, we've, we've actually dealt with those situations before where an ac when, when you're trying to access an application. Like, I can give an example, just, and I'm sure all of us can agree, on a, in a situation like Facebook or whatever have you. You're accessing your, you log in and you try to access your app and the next thing you know, you know, you're either getting an error or something goes on and you don't, and the first thing you want to say is, comes out your mouth, man, this application sucks. Facebook, whatever it is, it's just not, it's just, you're not able to access your app. And on the back end, someone's there pulling out their hair, screaming, trying to figure out the issue because time is money. Analyst says that, however, slow time occurs 10 times more. And I, in fact, I'll even say sometimes it can be more than that, depending on the organization, depending on how, how this application is being assessed. But as a whole, app, you know, how should I say, performance monitoring in itself on, or should I say, getting that application performance, it's easier said than done to do so. Right? Um, we all want to make sure that we give great experience for our users. That, they, that when, when we provide these particular applications and we, we provide uh, tools, if you will, adding, you know, adding great servers, better memory, disk, all these other things, we want to make sure that our users, our clients, are happy and they can access their applications anywhere, anytime. But do we really safeguard that? On a typical scale, multi-tier applications are pretty much set up like this. Usually, on a user interface level, you're, talk, you're looking at probably a web front end, more like a web server, if you will. On the business logic, you talk about more like middleware. Data access will be more like uh, whatever type of, um, whatever back end you have on a, on, a database, on a data access. It could be something like Citrix, uh, VMware whatever you're using, virtual, cloud, whatever. But what happens, even when, with all of this, it's, these all can, whatever your solutions are, it can, be, it can be pretty much delivered very well. And, you're, and when everything works fine, um, you know, delivery is very good, very great, rich experience. But what happens if something goes wrong? Let's just say something happens on the database side, right? Now it's putting a little bit of pressure as we go along. Database can't access to, to uh, whatever you're using, which is Citrix, which is VMware. Now all of a sudden, it's, it's toppling down to, on the middleware side, going down to the end user. Now the end user is actually dealing with a situation where they cannot access their applications. Right? So how often, I mean, how often do you actually see that? 
when it comes to when you're when you're trying to access an application, don't even know why, but this is a situation that's happening. So you can you say that's that can that's pretty often. You see that on a day, whether a daily basis or every other time, if you're even for yourself, right? Can you say? Here's another scenario. So I mentioned about virtualization, I mentioned about cloud, VDI. Other situation, like I can give another scenario. So let's just say that requests are being sent, whether it's media, whether it's video, for that matter. Now the requests are going to the Oracle server. And it, now everything is just being pushed. Disks are actually um, being compromised. It's, it's, being, it's being squeezed because the amount of requests are going through. And we all know, like in a VDI environment, for instance, a lot of things are shared. We're all trying to put everything in a shared environment. But as requests are going through, now you're, now you're experiencing not just slow time for yourself, but now other people are experiencing it because of the amount of requests that are occurring. And that is basically a situation that's hard to manage. Again, we're all about getting you know, easier access, as I was mentioning, mobility, virtualization, cloud, trying to get easier access. But with everything, anything that looks easy, it's always a, a little bit difficult to deal on the back end. So in that scenario, here's a situation where whether it's on the, on, the client of, on the client side, it could be network, it could be storage, it could be any particular situation that could happen where now you have a user complaining, calling up help desk saying, my application's not right, it's not running. Anybody here is using Citrix at all? Any Citrix users? Okay. How many times have you heard, Citrix sucks? <laughs> I used to work for Citrix, so I used to know how many a times, hey, what is going on? You gave me this product, I'm taking it back. <laughs> Right? And, and we all know Citrix in itself, I mean, it's purpose built to deliver applications great. But there's so many moving parts and components, especially if you're, again, you're, if you're going on VDI, if you're just delivering applications, you're giving your users more accessibility to utilize, to get, to get their applications anywhere, anytime. There's always a, there's a major cost involved. And without the proper visibility, it can be quite difficult. So, what do you do then? Now, you're getting tools to help monitor the situation. A lot of times we probably have network monitoring. We're using, or you're probably using something to help monitor the applications. But guess what, everybody are pretty much siloed, right? The network guys have, have their tools, the guys on the desktop have their tools, and everybody's like, you know what? I, I know what's going on on my side, everything looks green, I'm good, right? And when, when now, the, when the end user's complaining, now the point, their finger pointing begins. It's your fault, no, it's my, my side's great, it's your fault, right? But that doesn't, that doesn't fix the problem with the end user. So let's talk about how we can achieve better monitoring performance. A lot of times you hear that you know, there's solutions out there that say, hey, we monitor from end to end. But yet, they were only focused mainly on some of those things I showed you before, whether it's the network, whether it's on the server. But monitoring, as I was mentioning before, we are concerned, EG is more concerned about business IT services. It's not about the servers or the network, but it's the service that we provide that is important. When that end user is accessing that application, it's important to know what's going on on the end user side, what's going on with how, when they connect with it through a gateway, how, I mean, how are they traversing through there, through the, how the, how the application's behaving, and so on and so forth. With the, the way how AG handles it, again, we, this is just a pretty much a screenshot of, of uh, how we monitor the actual services. This is a scenario where we have a user that is actually um, using a, a, a web-based application delivered through Citrix. We look at, over the, again, the overall services transactions. So, the, so right here we see an issue that's going on with 
accessing the application and logging in. We're going to find out as we go along what, what the actual problem is. So EG takes a look and figure out right off the bat, you can see on the screen that there's, there's a few transactions that are seeing errors. As we drill down, EG has particular agents out there that you, that you put on these particular components and they figure out all the interdependencies and the relationships that are connected to each particular component to see, to see how that end user is accessing that application. So in this, in this scenario, we have the end user that's going into either whichever gateway it is, whether it's an F5 box, a Netscaler, whatever have you, going into the ISS web, to the zone data collector, to the ZenApp server itself, and then here on so forth. This is all collected 90% of the time, EG is smart enough to actually capture all this information. We see here that um, by, based on color code, ZenApp is, seems, to be, seems to be having an issue. And now that's why if we, when we look back, that user is having problems with you know, um, accessing that application or logging in. But as we drove even deeper, we found out it wasn't Citrix, but it's actually the, the ESX host that is having the problem. Just by drilling in, again, from end to end, all of this information is being, is being collected, and we figure out ZenApp is having a problem because of ESX. So that's one way how we monitor. The next, uh, the, the, uh, the, another direction is once we click, go into that particular um, ESX host, and whatever component you're looking to monitor for that matter, we drill it down by layers. So we can look actually inside the actual VMs itself, look at things like disk, the memory, whatever have you on that particular VM. But as we can see, in this, the inside the VMs are green, the virtual network and all that stuff is green. It's telling you right here that the operating system on the, on, on the ESX host that's having the problem. So, and we also see here that CPU is taking about 100%. So normally, typically, on a typical scenario for this, for this um, example here, it's tip, you know, we're looking at somewhere between 5 to 20% usage on heavy usage on a, on a regular day. This is way too high. The, the point of the problem is as we drill down into that problem to figure out why it's too high, we notice that a number of Samba backup jobs were actually being um, taken on that time. So in this scenario, we had, a, that we had a, an admin on the weekend that was supposed to do the backups, forgot to do it, and decided, you know what, let me go herp and do this now and get it over with. And it brought down the whole network, basically. <laughs> so it was, not a, it was not an issue where there was something going wrong, but it was just an admin that just really didn't care at the point in time and just needed to do what he needed to do. EG in itself monitors, when I say IT business services, everything that you see here from the infrastructure, providing good, making sure that we look at the overall end user experience, um, the network, everything's important when you're looking at monitoring. And that's something that you definitely want to consider when looking for an actual monitoring solution. What is more important? Is it, is it just monitoring the network that's important or giving that full end-to-end, -end, or, or what I would like to say, a, giving you more of a single pane of glass to figure out everything that's going on in your infrastructure? Any questions? Oh. So basically, can you set traps or alerts if something's getting like a certain percentage to notify you so you kind of know ahead of time before you have an event that causes uh, the situation? So basically, um, we have actually proactive alerts that are actually being set. So these agents are not only collecting, inf collecting data on exactly what's going on in the environment, but it's actually proactively taking a look in each particular component and then, and then really giving out a, what I would say, a best case scenario of this is actually the, the root cause and these are the after effects. Um, so these traps that you're, that you're mentioning, they're all actually integrated within the solution. This can, we also integrate with things like other types of ticketing systems like Remedy or ServiceNow, whatever have you. 
So all of that information that we correlate can also be resent over through there as well. And just to tell you a little bit about EG Innovations, um, we are certified, oh, obviously, with Citrix, VMware. I get, as I was mentioned before, we support over 150 different components. Um, and we have about over, well, it says over 1,000, but we're worldwide. We're based out of New Jersey, but we have, we have offices all over the country. And if, you, and if you have any other additional questions, I'm definitely welcome to come over to uh, my tabletop and I'll be happy to um, speak with you then.